Hey food fiends, today we're gonna take a food journey to Ohana Halle Marketplace. If you're old school, you remember it as the old gems on Ward Avenue. And if you're kind of new school, it used to be the Sports Authority that closed down. Located at 333 Ward Avenue, this place was gutted out and has numerous small stalls for different crafts, different vendors, and what we came here for was the food. So there's lots of different food stalls and all of them are very interesting and all different international types of foods. This stall here makes fresh juices from all kinds of neat fruits. And then there's a Italian food stall and there's lots of places to sit down to uh, eat in so you don't have to take out all the time. There's two authentic sushi bars in here, and we noticed that it is bring your own beer, and people were drinking and enjoying their sushi, and everything looked really good and fresh. And over here is Tessa's Kitchen. She's a great cook, and she does Filipino and French food. She used to teach my son at his preschool. And there's a interesting Tahitian restaurant stall. And I really wanted to try the Poisson crew, but they were sold out by the time we got there. So maybe next time. And here we are at Jian Taste, which we're gonna try. It's Northern Chinese cuisine. And they're famous for their Chinese hamburgers and duck parts. So this is my Chinese hamburger. It has beef in it, and that is the duck head. And they chop it in half. Try this out. It feels like so nappy. Oh, it looks really crispy. Mm. This is really good. So there's that crispy crust and beef inside. Ooh, it's got like jalapenos or something. Or is that bell pepper? Oh, sure. me. Mm -hmm. Mm. I'm making a mouth. <laughs> It's pretty good. So this is kind of cold. Spicy. Mm. It's already spicy. It's already spicy. Yeah. Because I put like hot sauce in. But they give you gloves. Yeah. I, I will do it the Neanderthal way with gloves. <laughs> I think you have to because um, you have to work your way around like the... Hey, this is my first time trying this duck head. Look at my eyes. Mmm. <laughs> Good flavor. It's stewed in like a... Oh, I see fennel. And like star anise flavor, yeah? Holy crap, that's spicy. Fennel, that's the flavor. <laughs> Holy crap. Mmm, that sneaks up on you. Wow. <laughs> that is quite, quite spicy. That is good. Oh, is that like a brain right here? It's a brain. I think it is. Oh, it's creamy. Yeah. It's good. Kind of eggy. 
It's what? Eggy. Like, Eggy? Like, 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 tastes like uh, egg yolk. That's true. Yeah, it does have that. Egg yolk. I don't know how to go about this, though. So. There are a lot of bones. I like fennel. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of uh, like Italian sausages. Yeah. Uh, meatballs. Yeah, meatballs. It's a good flavor. I like it. And it seems like it's stewed, so it's um, really soft. Meat. The meat inside is very soy based. Almost like shoyu chicken dish. Oh, okay. I mean, but I like the pickled, they have like pickled, I guess, Chinese greens in there, and the cilantro. Is it like braised? Re yeah, like braised oh. beef, but I like the, the bun or whatever it is. It's so crispy. <laughs> so the guy that we bought our hamburger and a duck head from Xeon Taste was nice enough to give us a free duck wing. So I'm going to try that too. And then Derek got a lamb burger. Oops. So it's the same, but with lamb. Delicious. I got rid of my gloves. I'm not gonna waste another pair. Mm hmm? Very sloppy noodles. Mm. Same taste as the duck head. Okay, so it's braised all together. So if you're scared of trying the duck head, you can have a normal part like the wing. It's good. All right, making a mess. I like duck. Yeah, it's kind of messy because when you crunch into it, all the little crispy parts fall. So I have it all and over the pants. And all the juices are. Yeah, on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Is. I'm, I'm actually getting over a cold. Uh -huh. And my nose is still stuffy, but um, the peppers. Clear oh. The sinuses? Yeah. <laughs> I like this. It's totally different. Something I haven't tasted before. So it's refreshing <laughs> to find something new. I'm really enjoying the this bun. Yeah, the the bun is really unique. So crispy. So we finished eating at Gian Taste. That was really good. So if you're looking for something different to eat at Ohana Holly Marketplace, the stall is kind of like the second stall from the front towards the end. So excellent service. The guy is super nice. There's a bunch of chairs to sit at. Try it out if you're looking for something different to eat. So here we are at Ganesh Dosa. They serve Indian crepes, more dosas. So this is more South Indian cuisine versus the North Indian cuisine that I'm familiar with, so let's give it a try. So that's lentil soup, and that's the coconut chutney. Cool. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> so we got the potato dosa, which is um, curried potato inside. This table is so yeah, lovely. <laughs> My camera's gonna fall. <laughs> like, are you supposed to eat it like a burrito? I'll be back in a second. Mm. That's really good chutney though. Yeah, that's an acquired taste, I think. That's it is sour, yeah. I thought 
crepes are supposed to be like not this tough. I don't know, yeah. That is a little thicker than I thought. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I mean, it's okay. I'm just gonna try the thing by itself, by itself to see what, what's sour. <laughs> Is it the crepe that's sour? So it's a potato no, that's wait. sour. There's some sourness in this. Okay. So it kind of tastes like uh, that Ethiopian bread. Okay. It's fermented, yeah? Yeah. Not my thing. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> so if you like sourdough, you might like it, but I don't like sourdough bread even. So you get some lentil soup with the meal. It's very spicy. I would say it's very interesting. I mean, it must be authentic. There was an Indian dude in line. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Honest this opinion, this isn't for me. It's okay. So, what was it called? Ganesh Dosa. It's not bad, but it's not my thing. But I guess if you want authentic Southern Indian food, it's here. Off to the next place. <laughs> This is Ellen K. Pha and Sandwich, which is Vietnamese food. The owner is a sweetheart. Come check her out. She works really hard, and all her food looks amazing. Fresh bread. The owner here, she used to own Skippy's Pha, which used to be next to the kind bail bonds across from Central middle school mm -hmm. and we're taking a sandwich to go since we're full but next time I'm definitely gonna check her out again and eat her bun cha so that was our adventure at Ohana marketplace Ohana Hale marketplace we'll come back again and check out all the other restaurants there's just so much to see and try but I can only eat so much so we have a few on our list to try next time, so we'll see you on another episode. If you like it, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.